Let the scriptures speak for themselves. Well, James, is there anything else you can think of? Um, what What would you leave maybe people listening to this? What would you encourage them to do for the average Joe, you know, who's just reading their Bible and they stumble across double brackets or something? What What would you encourage them with um, in this regard? Um, well, one, th- one thing would be to uh, recognize when you're reading a parrot uh, because some, some commentaries... Uh, some some lectures that you might find online are simply repeating things that have already been said that should have been corrected a long time ago, but they never knew better, and so they kept on perpetuating it. For instance, mm-hmm. the, in, in the earlier editions of the UBS text, it said that some Ethiopic copies stop at Mark 16, 8, and even Eugene Nita's translate, translator's guide, that, that claim was per- perpetuated. Mm-hmm. Uh, in 1980, uh, Metzger did a finished a, a detailed study on the Ethiopic text because he had done a double check thinking, do those abbreviations really mean what we think they should mean that we read in the 1800s about Ethiopic copies? So when he double checked it, he found, uh, no, we've been understanding this all wrong. He looked, he went back to the actual Ethiopic evidence and found that every single one of those Ethiopic manuscripts includes Mark 16 and 20. There were a lot that also included the shorter ending between 16.8 and 16.9, but that's not the same as a manuscript that just stops the text at Mark 16.8. So Metzger wrote a very detailed th- study and published it in 1980, but uh, to this day, in copies of the text of the New Testament, written by Bruce Metzger, and in the latest edition, I think, uh, edited by, by Bart Ehrman, but you can find on one page the claim that, no, from 1980 that Metzger made, the claim that all Ethiopic, all Ethiopic copies uh, include Mark 16, 19, 20, but on another page of the same book. <laughs> Forty years after 1980, mm. you will still find the claim that in some Ethiopic copies, Mark ends at 16, 8. Uh, <laughs> so, that's that's funny. The, yeah, yeah. It, it is kind of funny, but it's also kind of sad. Yeah, funny that, in a that pitiful it kind of way, right? For the yeah. for the group think that's in play to 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 be jostled into, uh, will you please pay attention? Hmm. So, yeah. so one thing would be to to recognize, uh, like I said, recognize parrots. If, if you're reading along and you're reading something like, like like Metzger, where where it says. Uh, the, the the Armenian and the 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 Jordan Georgian we have copies of both that, that don't don't include this passage. Well, keep in mind though, but most people don't realize this, but the old Georgian was translated from the old Armenian. So mm. having these two is, is like it's, it's 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 like saying not only does the voice say this, but also the echo of the voice. <laughs> right. As, as if that's going to mean something. Right. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, that's good. Well, I think watching out for periods is, is a, a good piece of advice. Um, not only um, with, you know, things people may agree with or things they may disagree with, um, not only with modern commentators, but also even with church fathers and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, that's that's a good piece of advice. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. So 